my bad. Um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to our, God. okay, um, welcome to our historic, uh, scientist show. We are proud to, um, introduce Mr. Dalton and, uh, Mr. Democritus here to talk to us tonight about their, um, theories, and this should be very interesting. So, um, here they are now. Okay, um, well, you ladies are not, uh, who I expected, um, who might you be? We are their wives. We are here on behalf of them. Oh, okay. Well then, uh, would you care to explain to us, uh, what your husbands <laughs> do, or is this just going to be a waste of time? <coughs> My husband is a Greek scholar. He is best known for his atomic theory, although he was also an excellent geometer. <laughs> Geometry? Where'd that word come from? Um, Dalton is a British chemist and physicist who developed the atomic theory of matter and is known as one of the fathers of modern physical science. That's very nice. Um, what were their ideas based on? My husband believes everything is composed of atoms. All motion or change is local motion. The motion of atoms. My husband based his ideas around Democritus's experiments and tried to remake them because Democritus wasn't correct. However, Democritus didn't even have a scientific theory because his explanations couldn't even be tested. All right. Well, what were some differences between your husband's theories? My husband came up with the original theory of materials being made up of atoms. Um, my husband improved atomic theory. Mine came up with it first. So, mine made it better. He said that all matter is made up of atoms and are indestructible. Democritus said that first. No. He said that the main elements were earth, fire, water, and air. Democritus was smarter, obviously. He also studied physics, astronomy, zoology, botany, and medicine. And, you forgot, his nickname was the Laughing Scholar. I believe that was for a pretty good reason. Because my boy had to improve his theories. Ladies, ladies, please, let's calm it down. No, we need to settle this. <laughs> Alright, let's make an agreement. Alright, I'd like to hear this. Alright, so, your little bonehead of a husband came up with the original theory, right? That's right, go on. All right, without our husbands putting their minds together and using each other's studies, we wouldn't have other theories, and we wouldn't understand the things we do now. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, well, um, good job, ladies. Um, thank you for coming on, and I'm glad we've conclu concluded all of our problems here, so uh, thank you. All right. Um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to the Historic uh, Scientist Show. We have a very special treat tonight. Uh, we were bringing in Mr. Dalton and Mr. Democritus here. Um, and um, here they are right now, actually. Um, who are you, ladies? I was expecting Mr. Dolan and Mr. Democritus. We are their wives. We are here on behalf of them. Okay. Well then, um, would you like to explain to us how your husbands, um, what they do? My husband is a Greek scholar. And? <laughs> Front of you and you can't read off that. Okay, that was my fault. You're Actually, right. no, it wasn't. You're throwing shit at me. My husband is a Greek scholar. <clears throat> he is best known for his atomic theory, although he was also an excellent geometer. Um, my husband, Dalton, is a British chemist and physicist. <laughs> <laughs> We're, <No>. done. <laughs> We're done. We're <laughs> done. All right. So we are in business right now. Okay. So. Hello. No, that's no, no. not a good way to start. <laughs> All right. We're getting ready to. Well, we're getting ready to sell them right now. 
Oh, and it's recording.